sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's, the just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. (laughs) 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, Jesus is challenging his disciples not only to pray, but to act. And he says, the one who does the will of the Father in heaven will enter the kingdom of heaven. In order to do that, we need to take God's word, we need to hear it, let literally listen to it. Then we need to pray, and we need to act on it. I think the first two can come naturally, and we do it quite regularly, where we hear the word of God and we very closely listen to it. Then we pray, but then do we truly <coughs> act on it? To act on the word of, God, word of God and to do the will of God is not easy. The only way that we will understand at least to a, a little extent, what the will of God is, is through our prayer and our relationship with Jesus himself. He says to the apostles, those who listen to my word and act on them will be like the wise man who built his house on rock. We want to make our faith firm in its foundation by listening, by praying, and by acting. Let us today just kind of examine our own lives and ask ourselves as we try to carry out the will of God, do we listen, do we pray, and do we act? Maybe give us the courage and the zeal to truly act on what comes to us from our prayer and from listening to the word of God itself. Let us pray that the church may continue to be graced with shepherds after Christ's own heart, who will lead his church with loving care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. <clears throat> that all nations in the world may be at peace with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord that those who experience rejection or failure may find hope and strength in the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all of us gathered here who hear God's word may discern the will of the Lord and act on it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That those who have died in Christ may return to the Lord, to his glorious kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you are our firm foundation. We ask that you hear and answer these prayers in accordance with your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and all of his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened St. Ambrose for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Ambrose you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away sins in the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. He who ponders the law of the Lord day and night will yield fruit in due season. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lead us who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of St. Ambrose, that hastening fearlessly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Tomorrow is a holy day, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Mass will be here at 7, at 1.30, and 5.30. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. St. Michael, the Archangel, the Avengers of Hell, the Archangel of the